Now, they've been held captive for 13 years and now claim they're forbidden from going outside even to buy food. Tonight, this programme has obtained footage taken by one of the Saudi princesses who allege they're being held against their will by their father, the king. In one email, they said they were slowly watching each other fade away. Their mother, now divorced, has been protesting outside the Saudi embassy, who've issued a statement this evening saying this is a private matter. Fatima Manji reports. Princess Jawahir films inside the compound. She says this proves they're being held against their will. This is the gate. It is the first time we've seen moving pictures from inside the villa. Locks from the outside. And on the other side, a guard becomes aware of someone's presence. We've been unable to independently verify this footage. Princesses Sahar and Jawahir told us they filmed it yesterday. Channel 4 News first broadcast these claims of their incarceration two weeks ago. Since then, the princesses say their treatment has deteriorated. This is what's left for us five to drink. By five of us, she means herself, her sister Sahar and their three pets. Their other two sisters are held in a separate location and they say they rarely see each other. Via email, Princess Sahar tells me... We've been prevented from leaving the house to buy food and water and medicine for ourselves and our three pets. This is our sixth day and we've been living on one meal a day. We will run out in a few days' time. They're literally starving us. The princesses claim they've been held under effective house arrest for 13 years after their mother left to go to London. Today, she protested outside the Saudi embassy, saying she had nothing left to lose but didn't want her face to be filmed. Fatma, what can I do? I'm a mother. I'll give it a try. I'll try anything to save my daughters. Anything. Sorry. And are you okay? Yeah. President Obama is due to go on Friday. You've written a letter to him. What is it you want him to do and to say to the king? I think someone has to intervene because I, I see no reason for that. Those girls are not criminals. They didn't harm anybody. Why they would do this to them? The mother's former lawyer says eight years ago he tried to negotiate with the Saudi royal family with the help of former British diplomats. He says they failed to help the princesses. They were highly intelligent, uh, very well educated, entirely modern and completely tragic, totally distraught, desperate, at the end of their tether. And now I think the only hope is that world opinion may convince the king and his advisers that they should show some humanity and a sense of family justice. The Foreign Office told us they are aware of our reports, but this is a matter for the Saudi authorities. Tonight, the Saudi embassy told us this is a private matter. Meanwhile, the princesses say they won't give up and will resist until their last breath.